Good afternoon, this is Michael Bell, your local professional buyer's agent with Addison Real Estate here at 29 Jackie Drive in beautiful Long Valley, New Jersey. Long Valley is in Western Morris County. Um, great school district, um, lots of space. So I mean, for Morris County, if you're looking for property, this is where you go. This is sitting on 1.87 acres. All right, uh, this home's had a lot of updates and all the good kinds. Um, it's got an in-ground pool in the back and uh, it backs up to uh, PSE&G uh, right-of-way easement, so it cannot be built on behind the house. Uh, you got a neighbor over here, barely can see them through the trees and a neighbor over there barely can see them. Um, here's the other side, beautiful uh, contemporary colonials, private road, takes you out to not right Ave and you are two minutes away from Route 46. If you go east, you're on Route 80 in less than five minutes. All right, so let's uh, kind of go through the property here. Like I said, you got wonderful front yard frontage. It's got a septic. Septic is from 2012, I believe. So it's about, well, 2014. So it's roughly 10 years old. Septic system. Nice tall pillar columns. You got a nice brick facade. Let's kind of go around the outside of the property. We'll tour the outside real quick. Try to make it quick. So this is uh, a big house, a lot of property. So we've got a lot of ground to cover. Fresh paved driveway, super long driveway. You have a two car garage. It's oversized in there when you see it. It's got a full wrap around deck that was just primed and stained and painted. And then if you look back here, you can see you got your privacy gates and then that's your pool, pool house. And uh, it's all fenced in all the way around, all the way around. Okay, so look, this is a fresh paved job. This is not a cheap paved job. Uh, right out to the front, you have a uh, lights there in the front. Yeah, this is uh, good stuff. This was fresh, this was just done. All right. Vinyl siding. <clears throat> this size of this uh, deck here, it's gorgeous. I mean, you have room to put a pergola. You could put another uh, structure out here for uh, entertainment. You know, it, it's you got skylights all around in the right areas in the kitchen. Uh, two living rooms, family room, where the fireplace is. <clears throat> uh, cellar uh, has not been here for about three months. So, you know, as you can see, the grass is getting a little taller. It's starting to grow through the uh, shore pebbles. But uh, the pool looks great. Diving board. It's probably about a nine foot depth right there. It's like a lot of fun to be had in this uh, <clears throat> in this area here. You can see the uh, skylights, the um, shingles on the roof don't look that bad at all. Chimneys capped. I didn't see any missing stones. I don't think it needs to be repointed. I can see plenty of uh, <clears throat> plenty of framing. Let's zoom out. And uh, here's what I was talking about. This is the end of your property line right here. And uh, basically uh, about another football field and a half away, you have uh, you know power lines that run through there. So uh, this is all easement for um, public works. Uh, can't be built on. <clears throat> uh, no houses can go back there. Uh, but uh, so you can kind of have your look of, uh, you know, beautiful uh, deer kind of coming out and playing. I saw them earlier today. It was really cute. Um, shed is being sold as is needs a little bit of work but what's cool about this shed is see you know it, it needs a little touching up uh, that they have everything for the pool here the filter the uh, water heater all right it's it's all housed in here uh, which is good keeps it safe from the elements let's close that up all right A lot of property here. 
have um, central air, working radon system already pre-installed. And you have a natural gas hookup. I didn't see where the well is, but there is well. All right, so let's go through the house real quick as you walk in. All right, so you have a beautiful wide foyer. You got uh, closets on both sides. Family room number one. I like this room because you can see both front and the back through this backyard. All Anderson windows. Beautiful contemporary custom molding. Forced air. And you have uh, natural gas baseboard heating, which is fantastic. All hardwood. We're going into the second family room. Vaulted ceilings, two skylights. Fireplace, white brick. Would look great for a tall Christmas tree. All hardwood again. Dining room. You have affordable dining room. Custom French doors that open up right into the kitchen. Before we go into the kitchen, you can see off the side you have a full guest bathroom. I'm sorry, this is a half bath. Updated, got granite countertops. All right, so we saw the two rooms there. All right, dining room kitchen gas range stainless steel microwave uh, dishwasher brand new um, recessed fitted GE refrigerator with waterline hookup cabinetry um, they uh, redid these they put new hinges new handles new polyurethane finish this is all brand new uh, composite laminate flooring. Did a great job. And uh, you have window treatment shades here. Uh, this is a slider patio that opens up to your super large wraparound deck. Chandelier, another skylight right over the open kitchen with the breakfast bar. You have a two door full pantry. Okay, looks like they got nothing in there now, but that's a pantry. Going in, off to the side here, you have a washer and dryer. All these appliances are staying with the sale. Additional closet space. Looks like uh, kitchen equipment. You can use it for anything you want. Linens, cleaning supplies, and whatnot. Uh, matching cabinetry, as same as the kitchen. Garage. Garage, what I like about the garage is it's oversized. These are 12 and a half, 13 foot uh, steel lolly column um, permanent posts. <clears throat> so you pull your car in. Once you clear this, you have all this headroom. You could definitely put a hydraulic lift in either one of these sides, which is fantastic. So oversized ceilings, fantastic. Uh, both of those have uh, garage door openers after. Before. All right, a lot of ground to cover. We're not done yet. We didn't get to the second floor yet. <clears throat> okay, so let's get up there real quick. All right, hand carved wood rails, wood oak steps coming right up. All right, second floor. Oop. Uh, this is the guest bath, vanity sinks. Well, it's the uh, family uh, bathroom. This is the only bathroom that's not really truly updated. I can see some of the tile, uh, some of the grout starting to peel away from the uh, shower liner, but it's got a tub shower combo. <clears throat> Flush test. 
looks good. So yeah, this uh, this part looks good. I think uh, you know this would probably need to be you know it's it's functional. It's just not updated. It's the only bad thing I can say about it. Hall linen closet, double door, double wide. All right. All right, we're gonna get into the master. This is the master. Sorry for the light in here, it's getting a little dark. But uh, from the edge to the edge, the door to the right is the walk-in closet, and the door to the left is the master bathroom. Huge walk-in. This floor is uh, newer too. I don't think it's as new as the one downstairs, like that's in the kitchen, but newer. This is the updated master bathroom. His and her vanity sink. Lighting is good, you got LEDs here. Nice shower stall. This is so nice, I don't even know how to open it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it opens like this. Very cool. All right. All new cabinetry, all new fixtures, new plumbing, smart flush, water saver. That looks out to the backyard. Windows are a little dirty. Uh, uh, it's got some tint on it too, which is kind of strange, but all right, moving down. We saw that bathroom. Let's get to the secondary bath bedrooms. All right, large second bedroom. I don't have the exact measurements on this, but um, nice deep closet. You can see it gets recessed. It goes way back there. All right. Let's move down. You have multi-zone um, heating and cooling. This is the third bedroom. This is the smallest bedroom. Smallest bedroom. And this is the one that uh, also overlooks the pool, which is nice. Double door closet. For the smallest bedroom, that's a very good size actually. Okay, so here's the fun room. This is the <clears throat> fourth bedroom. I'll show you what's special about this because there is a bonus room, which is basically like an artist loft. So this fourth bedroom has not only a walk-in closet, all lit up, fantastic space, but it has an artist loft. As you can see, you come through here and uh, you have pitched ceilings overlooks the driveway. Look how much space is in this room. And this is this this is a fifth bedroom uh, if you wanted it to be, let's put it that way, but it's just listed as a four because this doesn't technically count. But the square footage, you can do a lot with that room. Workout room, game room, rec room, music room, studio room, whatever, anything. All right. All right, so we're gonna get out of here. This is Michael Bell, your professional buying agent with Addison Real Estate. If you like these tours and you want your own preferred, specialized, personalized tour, please don't be a stranger. Call me, text me, email me. Uh, my information is on my channel and uh, I'd love to help you out in Northern New Jersey, whether you're here in this state or if you are somewhere else out of state. I'm always here to help buyers uh, with uh, properties that they can't normally see and uh, they come with narration. Any questions you have, give me a call. Talk to you guys soon. Good luck and happy house hunting.